Does anybody know this morning that sweet cocktail of betrayal? You see, because your enemy cannot betray you. That is a unique ability. That is a unique right of someone you love and cherish. You expect your enemy to betray you, correct? Sure. They're doing their job, right? But to be betrayed means I gave you, I trusted in you. I gave you something precious called trust. And you took it and broke it. All young people in the room, anybody know the sting of betrayal? Anybody can relate? I'm taking on. Oh, if you haven't, well, keep living. There is a unique sting of betrayal that the psalmist David cried out and declared. If it were my enemy, I expect that from him. But it was my familiar friend. Ate with me. Drank with me. Um, I own a small business here in Antigua. I, I print t-shirts. And um, I had a staff one day. For the entire week, he kept saying, how is your lunch? Is your lunch, does it taste okay? I'm like, mm, tastes pretty good to me. Next day, how is your lunch? Is your lunch okay? I said, the next day, his mom brings, makes his favorite food that he keeps complaining that the food doesn't taste good. True story. And, I, and he said, my favorite dish, I don't know, my food just don't taste good today. It was an entire week I had to endure these complaints about the meal. At the end of the week, it's payday. I hand him his, his check, and he breaks down, and he says to me, my best friend has taken away my girlfriend. And then I realized that the whole week, the problem wasn't the food. It was a broken heart that had taken the flavor and the savor from the food. But he had felt the sting of betrayal. 